हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो नाउ आई एंड डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द स्पीड डिस्टेंस एंड टाइम ओके सो यू शुड गेट डेडी एवरी वन एंड इज इजी प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर आई होप यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग बिकॉज ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स वेरी वेरी इजी एग्जाम्पल पार्ट एज वेल एज एक्सरसाइज पार्ट ऑल्सो एंड इज वेरी प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सी द videos and otherwise you should inform me i will help you again i will explain again but you have to practice it that is the main thing clear so already finished that uh, maximum problems from exercise only three problems left that one i will discuss now so now you should get ready <coughs> and at first you should read the question properly because easy easy questions are there so that's why Okay, everyone. Okay, now let's start. Now we'll discuss from question number eighteen onwards. Question number eighteen onwards. Okay. So first of all, you have to read the question and try to find out the meaning of the question. What is the given data? At first, you have to find out that one. So see, question number eighteen is telling here a train, one hundred fifty meter long. Crosses a tree in six seconds. What is the speed? What is the speed of the train in kilometer per hour? What is the speed of the train in kilometer per hour? That is the question. So, what is the given data, sir? A train 150 meter long. Okay. Distance of train given 150 meter. Crosses a tree. Okay. Train is crossing a Tree in six seconds. Okay, what is the speed of the train in kilometer per hour? We have to find out that speed with kilometer per hour. The unit will be kilometer per hour. Okay. So first of all, we have to uh, write the data. Whatever the data are given, distance given one hundred fifty meter long. Okay, and time also given six and six seconds. Clear. So just now, just a little bit. I am erasing. Just a minute. Wait. Okay, see. So first, given question number eighteen, no distance of the train. Distance of the train equal to sir what? Equal to one hundred fifty meter. One hundred fifty meter. Clear. Clear or not? And time also given. Time how much sir? Time equal to given six second. Okay, the train is crossing the tree. One tree was given, so so that one is the crossing. Okay. So then distance given and time given. Ultimately, we have to find out what sir. We have to find out the speed. Okay. So therefore, speed equal to. Speed equal to what, sir? Speed equal to we know that the formula. At first we have to write the write the formula. Speed equal to distance by distance by time. Clear? Speed equal to distance by time. We have to put the values. Okay? And you have to check once that uh, unit also equal or not. Because here unit given here meter, unit given here meter and here second, so it is okay. Clear. So now put it the values. One hundred fifty and denominator six. And unit will be meter by second. Clear. Understood. Okay. So now we can do the division. 
fifty one hundred fifty divided by six. So six two is a twelve. Six to twelve, three thirty, six to thirty. That means twenty-five. Twenty-five six is one hundred fifty. So twenty-five meter per second. Clear? Are this one clear, sir? Are this one this one clear? Okay. So now we are getting, sir, speed twenty-five meter per second. But our question is telling that we have to find out the speed in kilometer per hour. What is the speed of the train in kilometer per hour? Okay, so now we have to change it the unit. Okay, so therefore, speed of the train equal to twenty-five meter per second was here. We have to change it in kilometer per hour. Kilometer per hour means we have to multiply it by eighteen by five. Clear or not? Clear. And here unit will be kilometer per hour. Understood? Clear, sir. Clear. Okay. So that means we are getting what, sir? That means we are getting here five five is twenty five, and here eighteen into five ninety. Ninety kilometer per hour. Understood? Clear or not? Clear. Clear, everyone. Okay. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Therefore, the speed of the train is ninety kilometer per hour. Clear? Clear or not? Okay. So next question C. Eighteen finished. I have clear. And even in doubt, you can inform also. Ah, uh, you inform me. I will explain again. Otherwise, I will help you again. Okay. But you have to practice it because easy, easy question C. Just you can uh, you can practice also. You can do also. You can do yourself. Okay. So that's why please practice it. And if any problem, you inform. Okay. Next question number nineteen. Question number nineteen. At first, read the question sir properly. A train one hundred twenty meter. A train one hundred twenty meter long is running at fifty four kilometer per hour. What is the given data sir? A train one hundred twenty meter long is running at fifty four kilometer per hour. Distance of train given one hundred twenty meter. Okay, and it is running. The speed also given 54 kilometer per hour. Okay, that means ultimately what is the given sir? The speed of the uh, train given 54 kilometer per hour and distance also given 120 meter long. So in how much time will it pass a bridge 180 meter? In how much time? That means we have to find out sir what time will it pass a bridge 180 meter long? Okay. So in how much time? That means we have to find out the time. We will pass a bridge. The bridge distance also given 180 meter long. 180 meter long. So what to do, sir? What to do? What to do? At first we have to write the data. Whatever data are given, that one we have to write it. Clear or not? Clear? We have to write it the data. Okay. So, question number nineteen, no? Nineteen. What is the given data, sir? Distance of the train given. Write it here. Distance of the train equal to. What is the given, sir? Distance of the train. 120 meter long 120 meter long 120 meter okay and speed also given speed of the train equal to speed of the train equal to how much sir speed of the train equal to given 54 km per hour i think 54 km per hour i just i am checking this one 54 km per hour yes 54 km per hour okay okay and another data is also given one another data is means that distance of the bridge given 180 m long distance of the distance of the bridge equal to 180 m 
that are also given so three data is given in this question what to do sir with the help of three data what to what to do just try it everyone you can try also so these are the data so with the help of the data you can solve it okay we have to solve it so what to do first of all see just two distance given now two distance means the train of the distance given as well as the bridge of the distance of the, um, the distance of the bridge also given distance of the bridge also given clear clear or not so these two things given here okay that means this is the total distance now distance of the train as well as distance of the bridge this is the total distance try to understand clear clear or not okay see i am doing here okay so here distance of the train given as well as here given distance of the bridge given that means these two things given here this total distance we can find out or not total distance total distance is equal to distance of the train plus distance of the bridge clear or not so that means we can write therefore total distance total distance equal to 120 plus 180 meter clear clear or not just a minute 120 plus 180 meter okay clear i hope clear understood this is the total distance because distance of the train as well as the distance of the bridge this is the total distance no we have to add it just after addition we are getting what sir 300 meter 180 plus 120 300 meter we are getting so this is the total distance okay and and another thing also given speed of the train given speed of the train given so now we are getting two datas which on the which two datas we are getting sir speed we are getting as well as distance we are getting total distance 300 meter and speed also given 54 km per hour okay so now we have to find out what sir time so therefore time equal to what time equal to we know that the formula distance by speed time equal to distance by speed clear time equal to distance by speed okay just now put the values distance how much sir distance means total distance we have to put it or i am putting here okay so distance how much sir distance to 300 meter 300 meter and speed speed sir see speed one important thing they given here speed given distance we are getting in meter distance we are getting in meter but speed we are getting in kilometer per hour kilometer per hour that means we have to change it that means we have to change it clear or not either kilometer per hour to meter per second otherwise otherwise what otherwise this meter 300 meter we have to change it in kilometer which one Yeah, anyone we can do it so which one better sir that speed kilometer per hour that one we have to change it in meter per second that is better okay so that means 54 into kilometer per hour to meter per second means we have to multiply by 5 by 18 and here unit will be 5 uh, meter per second unit will be meter per second okay so now cancel it here 18 3 54 Directly, I am doing 18 to 54. Okay, 18 to 54. So that means we are getting what? So 3 into 5 what? 15, 15 meter per second. 15 meter per second. That is the what? Sir, that is the speed. Clear? So now see, now unit is okay because distance unit meter and here speed also we are getting meter per second. So now we can put it here. 15. Okay, and our 
unit will be what sir time we are finding time so second will come second clear or not clear understood sir any doubt if any doubt you inform me otherwise you can write in comment box also clear cancel it here cancel it so 15 to ja 30 and 1 0 20 so we are getting what sir 20 second we are getting sir 20 second this is the answer this is the answer clear clear or not i have understood if any doubt please inform me okay so we can write what sir we have to write the answer so in how much time will it pass a bridge 180 meter long so therefore in therefore in 20 second in 20 second will it pass will it pass a bridge 180 meter long in 20 second will it pass 180 meter pass a bridge just a minute pass a bridge pass a bridge okay pass a bridge 180 meter long pass a bridge 180 meter long okay clear 180 meter long so in 20 second we did pass a bridge 180 meter long this is the answer clear i have clear everyone understood okay so next question see sir next question means here last question question number 20 question number 10 20 is telling a train 760 meter long crosses a platform a train 760 meter long crosses a platform 440 meter long in 40 seconds the question is telling here as train 760 meter long means the distance of the train given here distance of the train what 760 meter okay crosses a platform crosses a platform 440 meter long platform distance also given distance of the platform also given here 440 meter long okay clear and time given sir 40 seconds time given find the speed of the train in kilometer per hour find the speed of the train in kilometer per hour that is the question i have clear question clear so three data is here given first first data is what sir distance of the train given second data is platform distance of the platform also given and at last what given sir 40 seconds that means time given here okay so we have to find out the sir speed not only speed that speed will be, will be in kilometer per hour that is the main thing clear i have clear sir question clear okay so what to do sir here what to do question number 20 so at first we have to write the data okay so i am writing here see distance of the train distance of the train equal to distance of the train equal to how much sir distance of the train equal to 100 uh, 760 meter long 760 meter long 760 meter okay next second condition given what sir second condition given here distance of the platform okay distance of the platform how much 440 meter long 440 meter long two data distance of the train 760 meter distance of the platforms 440 meter okay and time also given here time also given i think 40 second time also given 40 second okay clear time also given sir 40 seconds 
so now we have to find out the speed we have to find out the speed okay so one important thing that before finding the speed at first we have to check it that unit is okay or not unit see first unit what sir meter second unit also also given here meter and first last unit what sir second given that means correct okay so now we have to find out what sir total distance okay so total distance how much sir total distance equal to total distance equal to 760 plus 440 meter okay total distance distance of the train as well as distance of the platform we are getting total distance just add it we are getting how much 0 here 6 plus 4 10 0 0 1 carry 7 plus 4 11 plus 1 12 1200 1, meter is the total distance we are getting here understood clear or not this is meter just a minute this is meter okay and time also given so distance now we are getting sir two data distance as well as time time sir how much sir 40 second so we can find out the speed so therefore speed equal to speed equal to distance by time speed equal to distance by time clear just put the values distance how much sir 1200 okay and time sir 40 second clear so unit will be what sir meter per second meter per second cancel it here 00 we can cancel it here 01010 we can cancel it 43 that 12 30 so that means we are getting here 30 meter per second that is the speed clear but but our question is telling that find the speed in kilometer per hour find the speed in kilometer per hour that means we have to change it this one we have to change it this meter per second we have to change it in kilometer per hour so that means we have to multiply by what sir 18 by 5 clear just cancel it kilometer per hour so here 5 6 is 30 18 into 6 18 6 is 108 kilometer per hour 108 kilometer per hour clear so this is the answer clear or not clear easy problem very easy you have to practice it okay so you have to write the answer find the speed of the train in kilometer per hour therefore the speed of the train therefore the speed of the train the speed of the train is 108 km per hour the speed of the train is 108 km per hour clear 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 or not understood sir any problem i hope clear okay so even in doubt any problem so any queries and queries so you inform me i will help you again otherwise i will explain again but you have to practice it and you have to submit your work homework okay so what is your homework sir homework exercise 12 all problems exercise 12 all problems you have to practice it because uh, we already discussed all problems so i hope you understood so you have to practice all problems okay practice and submit it practice and submit clear practice and submit clear everyone so you should do it and if any problem you please inform us we will help you okay clear clear or not so that's all everyone take care of yourself bye bye have a nice day